I got a lot of lessons left to learn But I'm not even close Through my inhibition I've become quite sure That I love you the most That this could be the easiest thing if I'd let it But I'm too afraid of losing it all Cause if I leave everything on the table Then you might break my heart I'd like to take a moment to describe what I saw today at the union of these two goofballs. I saw Colt, who's been my best friend since we thought girls were annoying and only good for distracting us from Pokemon. Make a promise to Claire. I saw Claire, who used to argue that TikTok by Kesha was a musical masterpiece, <laughs> make a promise to Cole. That promise wasn't always to be a perfect couple every single day, to always be happy or to never argue. It wasn't a promise to agree on everything, to always split responsibility 50-50, or even to live happily ever after. It was a promise to fight for each other's happiness and well-being, when no one else will. To continually strive to give love to each other and to recognize each other as an extension of self. It was a promise to be there for each other through your ever-changing surroundings and selves and to be the constant in each other's lives through everything. It's said that the only constant in life is change, but amidst all the chaos, there will always be Colton and Claire. Claire's mother, Nancy Claire Ross, and I were married 44 years ago on this day. I was thrilled when Claire told me the date that they had selected, and it's their special day now. Unfortunately, my wife, Nancy Claire Ross, passed away when Claire was seven years old. Our family had to overcome many challenges after her passing. However, Thanks to the love and the support of our family and friends and all of you folks here today, we carried on. I know Nancy is watching over us today with a huge smile and a glow in her heart, wishing all the best for Claire and Colton. Now, when you hear the story about Claire and Colton, you know, they've known each other since a bus ride in the eighth grade. Now, they knew each other through those school years, but it was after school that they started to date. Their relationship began as friends, talking to each other, learning about each other, spending time together. And over time, that grew into a, a, a beautiful love that we celebrate today. When Claire and Colton became friends, I was away at college, but I always remember Colton being around. He was just always around. <laughs> it was around this time, when we were about 16, that Colton started regularly talking about somebody else, who I guess is a little important to today as a whole. He began regularly talking about his new friend and eventually he introduced me to Claire. I could immediately tell that Claire was a very kind-hearted person who exuded optimism about life. It made no sense why she was hanging out with you. <laughs> I'd gone to hang out with Claire and she had to have me meet one of her new friends in high school. It was a guy who loved Pokemon and games even more than Claire. <laughs> Colton has always been in love with Claire since then. 
Their friendship and love for each other has continued to grow over the years. I've had the privilege to a front row seat of your relationship, evolving from a friendship into being best friends, and then finally, finally, you both realized what everyone else realized much, much earlier, that you loved each other. And they stayed in touch through college and after college. And then one day when I came home to visit, Claire was all, Colton this, Colton that, Colton, Colton, Colton. I'm like, Claire, what's going on with you and Colton? She's like, oh, you know, we're just friends. I mean, we kissed the other night. And I was like, okay, so like, this is a thing. And then, you know, not a week later, it's Facebook official. And I guess the rest is history. If you were able to go back and tell 15 and 16 year old Claire and Colton that they would be engaged and getting married a little over a decade later, they both probably would have laughed. That just didn't seem to be the path that they were on as by some strange occurrence, I think they both put each other in the friend zone at the same time. Time continued to pass, and thankfully for the good of humanity, we all slowly began to mature into something resembling adults, with Colton and Claire's friendship a constant. And although it may have seemed unlikely at one point, Colton somehow convinced Claire that memorizing all of the Harry Potter books was sexy. <laughs> Colton? Thank you for making my best friend so happy. I know that you will always love and take care of her. I can't wait to see how your love for each other continues to blossom in marriage. Just know you're stuck with me too. <laughs> Congratulations are in order. It's been a long time coming to get here and you've managed to not kill each other. Generally a good start to any relationship. I know these last two years have been stressful. I know you've had your ups and downs. Both of you probably are thinking, it's almost over, we can finally relax, things are going to go back to normal. Sorry kids, you're wrong. The work never ends. Let me leave you with this bit of advice. Always be aware that your relationship is a daily moment, that you both need to choose to be there for it, and it's something that can be missed if you aren't careful. You both are smart, caring, wonderful people, so I'm sure you can figure it out. And don't forget, we're all here to support you along the way. Here's to your adventures yet to come. You always hear everybody say that they want to marry their best friend. And what I love about their love story is that they did actually marry their best friend. Close my eyes, you're looking back at me Out of all the mother's beauty that I've seen there is none more beautiful than you to me. So Claire and Colton, here's my take on some keys to a happy marriage. Put God first in your marriage. Listen more than you talk. Love one another with all your heart and soul. Be honest and respect each other always. Share your laughter, your hopes, your dreams and your sorrows. Have an attitude of gratitude. And last, but certainly not least, be willing to compromise. So Colton, when you have a disagreement with Claire, politely state your point of view, then do what Claire says. <laughs> your marriage will be successful. Have a very long and happy life together. 
And may God bless and guide you throughout your journey. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Colton Carson.